<sighs> hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, as you guys just saw here in that intro, I was doing some uh, rear wheel rotation. Uh, took it to the shop to get a rotating balance and alignment, and they just put the back wheels on backwards. I had, you know, they're supposed to be in a swoop pattern, like coming off this way. The back ones were kind of this way, so no fault to them. I talked to them. It's a good buddy of mine. It happens, uh, but I just didn't feel like taking it up there to do it, but I am reminded by how freaking heavy those wheels are. Um, I want to say they're probably close to 130, 140 pounds just for the wheel and tire itself. So that's usually why I take it to get done. I know it's easy maintenance, but man, I hate messing with them. So got those swapped back around, um, did torque them. Uh, I'm gonna take it for a test drive, retorque it, uh, just to make sure they're all good, man. But uh, yeah, so this video, I honestly don't know what's gonna be in it. I'm going to, I'm doing this intro now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of work on the trucks throughout the week, kind of like a weekly vlog and see what happens. So as you guys are seeing this, obviously, uh, I've done it already and I don't know what's going on from this point forward. It's the day after Christmas. I uh, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas with their friends and family. If uh, you weren't able to be around friends and, or excuse me, around family, um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know, especially our military, law enforcement, uh, firefighters, nurses, things like that, our frontline people um, do say thank you for your services. But uh, yeah, for this upload, we are kind of just going to go with the flow and see what happens um you'll probably know what's going on by the title of the video by the time i post it but uh yeah so got those back tires done uh need to there's a few other things i need to do um obviously these wheels are sold uh buyers coming today to pick them up so he's local he'll be picking those up today after work um the third gen excuse sorry if there's some wind noise guys uh it is a little windy today and it's not the greatest temperature but uh we're gonna take the old girl to pdr we're gonna get some stuff taken care of i want to see if he can work his magic on this one i'm pretty sure you guys can see that booger yeah it's pretty gross uh but kenneth is a guy that i've taken this the fourth gen to i had a pretty bad uh crease in the hood right here um, and it was pushed in because I was up there washing the truck. I had my palm here and it dented. Got that out, no problem. But yeah, there's some, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's some small dings like right in here. I'm gonna see if he can work those out. Um, I'm not sure if he can get these out. These are pretty bad, but you know, if he can try, by all means, I'll, you know, just give it a shot. But uh, he's an old school guy. I've been doing it for many, many years. Um, and dude knows what he's doing, so. We'll drop off the third gen later tomorrow. I'll probably take a, some, some shots of us driving there, get ripping on it a little bit. Um, started to order some transmission parts. By saying I started to order transmission parts, I ordered one piece. <laughs> uh, we're in talks with a few other companies right now, trying to work some partnerships to see if I can uh, you know, work with them to get some uh, discounts on parts and rebuild the transmission on the channel. When I say rebuild the transmission, we're talking about the 48RE and the third gen. I do have a core coming. I got a buddy up in uh, North Western Oklahoma who's going to be uh, giving me his core, not giving me his core, selling me a core that he's got. He has got an awesome third gen dually. So hopefully uh, when he comes down, I can put that on some ca on camera too. He's got a third gen crew cab or mega cab dually. Uh, it's two wheel drive, it's lowered, it's got some 24s on it, I believe, and it's got a uh, full manual valve body tran uh, tr 48RE in it, so that thing's pretty slick. But hopefully we can get that on the channel. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's see what else we get into. All right, so we're taking the truck out on a little test drive. Uh, I just wanna get some rotations on the tires, I'll retort the rear wheels, but Man, ever since I've had this fourth gen back, she has been, it's been so comfortable. I don't know if you guys have, hopefully some of you guys on the channel have a third and a fourth gen or just like a, a street truck that you like to play with. Um, and then you have a daily driver, man. But this fourth gen daily driving, this thing is amazing. And it's night and day compared to the uh, third gen. But uh, third gen is, it's still funner to drive in my opinion. Maybe I'll do a comparison video on like, you know, benefits of having a third gen, benefits of having a fourth gen. But for this truck, man, it is night and day so much more comfortable um, as it should be, you know, it's a newer model truck. So uh, pretty excited about that to have her back and uh, you know, racking up the miles on her. She is my daily. 
uh, the guy I sold it to, it was kind of like his, his toy and, um, he didn't actually really, you know, drive it all that often. I mean, he put 7,000 miles on it for Christ's sakes, but Hey man, that's awesome. I, I do appreciate that he took care of it. All right. So just stopped real quick before I got out of the neighborhood and torqued the wheels again. We are good to go. So figured, uh, run to the gas station, cruise around a little bit, mama and baby girl taking a nap. So, um, figure out, just go for a cruise and catch up with you guys. Um, if you guys haven't been here before, make sure you guys get down there, like, comment, and subscribe. Love interacting with you guys down there in the comments. Um, and helping you guys where I can with information on these trucks. So <clears throat> what else is new? Uh, I'm sure if you guys seen in the last couple videos, but I have recently retired from the Navy. I do have a little beard going on. I uh, retired back in April. Uh, and now I'm working in the aerospace industry here in Oklahoma City. It has been awesome. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I'm going to love this truck. And we're doing 70. We need to slow down. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, working in the aerospace industry gives me so much more time to be home with the family. Um, it has been an awesome 20 years in the Navy, but uh, things change. You know, lives change like myself. And uh, it's just time for me to hang it up. I uh, enjoyed doing what I did. It was a freaking awesome job. Uh, I was a flight engineer on the E-6 here at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. Um, no way in hell would I have been able to do what I did with the military and the civilian sector. It was, uh, you know, I was sitting up front with the pilots and they were steering an airplane and, you know, making radio calls. And I was, you know, managing systems while we're flying. And if any emergencies ever happened in flight, I was a guy running the checklist, giving them the information on the systems because I was a SME on the, all the systems on the aircraft. But yeah, it was, uh, it was a freaking rewarding job, man. I loved it. Um, I did all the maintenance on the aircraft. I wrote everything up. If something broke, I ordered parts and fixed it. Um, that's kind of what give me, gave me the drive to start this channel and work on these trucks because, I mean, if I could work on a Boeing 707, you know, $400 million nuclear asset, I'm sure I can work on a freaking diesel pickup, right? So um, just had to do my research and study a few videos online and just kind of make myself comfortable, you know? And um, one of the first things I ever did to this truck was just a, was a second gen swap on uh, the WC Fab second gen swap. I had some tuning. Uh, well, not I will leave names out of this because they're no longer in business anymore. But I did a tuning. I did an exhaust, um, and then I jumped up to do a second gen swap. Uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, Beast Projects, he has some. Uh, he just bought a freaking brand new 2024 Ram Rebel. Um, that thing is pretty sweet. But I watched his his video with Dirty Diesels probably a dozen times. And I was just trying to figure out every little scenario that could go wrong or anything I may have questions on to if I got hung up doing a second gen swap. And that was the channel I watched and it answered all my questions. So huge shout out to Steve over there at Ram Beast Projects and uh, Josh over there at Dirty Diesels. They were uh, very instrumental with helping me learn how to do the second gen swap. So, but yeah, we're cruising around right now. Um, just driving, trying to think of some things I could talk to you guys about. Uh, since I really haven't done one of these. Honestly, I don't think I've done one of these since I first started the channel back like four years ago. But yeah, so channels, I'm starting to actually, you know, upload more as you guys have seen over the past couple weeks. Uh, I want to keep this regularly going. Um, but I'm sure you guys know it's just expensive to work on these vehicles, man. So um, I'm doing what I can um, with the resources I have right now and trying to get the best content out to you guys as, uh, as much as possible uh, i'm sure you guys hear me drop cam's name uh, my buddy cameron piggott he's uh everything underscore diesel i'll put his uh name at the bottom of the screen here um we talk daily about things we're doing with the trucks you know helping each other out you know with uh, issues we may run into but uh man we became good friends and we've kind of leaned on each other quite a bit just to uh work on these trucks and motivate each other to build these dang things so um as you guys know, my Ford Gen is pretty much built. Yeah, I'll probably be making a video up soon about what I've done to this truck since some of you guys are new viewers. It, a lot has changed with this truck, but I really haven't done an overview of everything done to it. So we'll do one of those videos soon and it's kind of update you on the Ford Gen. I don't see many modifications coming to this truck anytime soon. Um, 
maybe in the future as she gets higher mileage we may do uh you know probably some injectors a cp3 um, i'm probably just going to do the fleece drop in lift pump on this truck because this is going to be the tow pig for the third gen when i start taking her to the track and whatnot so uh you know earlier i mentioned i started buying parts for the transmission i kind of lied to you right i didn't buy anything for the transmission just yet i really just bought the uh i bought a fat input for the transfer case so i can do a fat output on the transmission so talking to a few guys on uh, instagram that are you know work at pretty reputable shops guys like fire pump logan built transmissions those kind of places i've been talking to um lately through social media and uh, those are the the information i've got it's pretty much i'm going to do a fat output because of the weight of the third gen how much horsepower i want to run goal is 1200 wheel horsepower at this time I'm sure that's going to want to go up as I start racing and things like that. But um, I thought about doing a 35 spline input, but that's like a $4,000 mod. I just don't want to spend that money right now. So I'm just going to stick with the stock input, uh, torque converter, and all billet, you know, intermediate shaft, and all the other internals that go with it. So that's kind of my, my game plan for the third gens, uh, 48RE. I still don't think I want to do full manual valve body yet. I go back and forth on it. Um, I think about... Lately, I've been thinking about doing the Anteater Pro to where I can tap shift it on the column here, um, pretty much like the 4 Gen, and uh, just race it that way because, you know, learning how to do that full manual valve body driving probably won't take long, but at the same time, when you're racing, you don't want to, you know, all you got to do is slap, slap, grab the handle third, and then lock up and overdrive, and, you know, that's too much for me. I just want to be able to hit the thing and go. <laughs> so, that's kind of where my mind's at with that. Um... Like I said, we're taking a truck to PDR tomorrow. Um, hopefully we'll get her ironed out a little bit, you know? I mean, she's still not the greatest truck when it comes to, when it comes to body, but um, my main focus right now is really just transmission drivetrain. Um, I'm probably gonna rebuild the transfer case myself. Think about ordering a straight uh, one-piece dr uh, rear drive shaft. Um, I have the, the forward drive shaft or the front drive shaft out of the truck right now. I'm wondering if I can rebuild that myself as well. There's a shop in town that'll do it for like 250 bucks. So I don't know, we'll see uh, how that goes and what my decision is on that. Um, I'm just unsure at the moment. But uh, yeah, the third gen is a freaking hoot to drive, man. Transmission is sleep is slipping a little bit, but you know, almost 200,000 miles. I think it's been rebuilt before, but I am putting down a little bit of power with it. So. I have only left it in tune one. I have never taken out a tune one. Um, it does have fire punk tuning. Um, it is a five nine, so it's not that big of a deal to talk about that, but it is, uh, yeah, the transmission is just, it's, it's a hard shift from second to third. And then when I'm coming in the neighborhood, depending on what RPM I'm at, it'll like, it'll go in uh, maybe third, it'll be lock up and then it'll let go. Then it'll down a second. And it's just real, real, uh, jolty or just, it, it doesn't feel good. So, um, thinking about, you know, that's kind of my mindset on the transmission is I want to be able to beat on it a little bit and I can't really do anything. You know, I have horsepower on tap, you know, I got 200% over 14 mil CP three. I have, you know, uh, freaking 67, 67, uh, possibly throwing those ARP two thousands in that are in the, in the garage. Uh, I'm going to talk to my buddy about that since he's not going to use them anytime soon. I might just buy him and put them in and buy him a set, but I don't know, man. It's just kind of one of those things where I want to be able to beat on that truck a little bit. Um, that's just kind of my thought process. It's a toy, so treat it like a toy and, you know, play a little bit, have fun. So, yeah, sorry I'm rambling, but I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up with, uh, you know, what's going on with the channel, what's going on with the trucks, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what else we got. So. All right, guys, just got the truck back from PDR. Sorry for the wind noise, but the dents are no longer there in the side of the bed. He got all those taken care of. There's a few couple ones I'm gonna try to probably take it back, but it's hard for me to find them all right now. You guys remember how this fender was dented up pretty bad? It was like caved in and it was kind of like, what do you say, almost kind of had like a seam here. She looks really good. So. Man, he did a hell of a job. Uh, I have found a couple ones, but 
I'm probably going to take it back. This one, as you guys remember, this one was like caved in. This is the, the center of it. Uh, it was dented in. Almost looked like a golf ball hit it like really, really good, but I'm trying to get the angles on it, but it turned out really well. And then last but not least, we had some over here on the bedside. Oh, excuse me. I got a couple areas to cover, but got those out. There was like three or four that were right here, just like small hail dings. And last but not least, look at the tailgate. The tailgate looks freaking impressive. Um, from the back here, you can tell that it's not like, there used to be like some dents right here, like kind of on the top, right? He got all those out. It actually looks like a really nice tailgate from afar. I was walking down the driveway from getting the mail and I noticed that this body line that kind of comes like right here, you can actually see it and it's not crushed in because I believe there was a dent here. As you guys can kind of see the paint, there was another one up here and then there was like another one over here somewhere and these were kind of caved in as well. So he did a really good job. Um, and the reason I just went with PDR instead of actually like trying to get uh, new body panels was I didn't want to get, if I didn't have to get some different metal, um, how do you say it? I didn't want to get some, some metal that was, uh, say going to be thinner, going to be weaker, um, and you know, possibly can mess up or dent really easy in the future. So especially for a tailgate, like if you're going to be sitting on a tailgate, um, I don't want to be like it bowing or bending in the middle because the sheet metal is just thinner. So that stuff turned out pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I think he charged me 350 bucks for the entire truck. Uh, I'll leave his contact information down in the, uh, down in the description. His name's Kenneth. He's out of Norman, Oklahoma. Um, dude's old school, man. He's just got this shop that he uses. He's done some work on the fourth gen. Um, I do have a small ding right in this area. If you guys can kind of see it, I don't know if you guys can see it yet, maybe, but there was a, I had a body line right here that I had messed up. <clears throat> you can't even tell, but it was like right here on this body seam. I was, I was standing up on the tire and I was washing the windshield and the hood and I put my hand down on it and it creased it pretty bad. So, and then when I did the second gen swap on the truck, I had a whole bunch of like small little ripples in here because my knees were resting against this on both sides, on both fenders. And he actually got all those out. I think back, that was like three or four years ago. He only charged me like 75 bucks to get like three dents out over here. The body seam that was over there. Um, or in the in the uh, hood and then the one on the, the fender, um, the driver's side fender, there was like two or three kind of dents. So um, guy's really good. He's old school, like I said, uh, does awesome work. Uh, highly recommend him. So I'll put his link in the description or not link, but I'll put his phone number and contact info in there. So old school dude, he uh, does it really well. And uh, yeah, if you guys are in the area, hit him up. But I'm very impressed with how that stuff went. So. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Sorry I couldn't have more exciting stuff on here for you, but got the truck paint, uh, got the truck's PDR done, got the wheels sold, um, and then on the next channel, we're probably gonna do some more stuff with the engine bay on the third gen. Probably gonna do some motor mounts or something of that nature to get some of these parts off the shelf and uh, get that thing up and running in tip-top shape. Oh yeah, this, the I want, one other thing I want to address was the 20-inch wheels I just put on there. The uh, the limited stocks. Let me see if I can get you guys over here without too much glare. But yeah, the sun's going down behind the house over there. But as you guys can see, the wheels are on the truck. It is starting to rub a little bit on this control arm. Let me see if I can get you guys in there. But yeah, can you guys see that control arm right there? They are rubbing. I may have to put some spacers in. Um, I'm just not sure because I don't want to cut the factory lugs. So two inch spacers look like it'll be too much. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out or I'll just live with that rubbing. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. So if you guys haven't been here before, make sure you guys get down there, like, comment, and subscribe. Shoot me some comments, man. I love uh, talking with you guys down there and communicating with you guys. So other than that, we'll see you guys on the next upload. Have a good one.